Hello everyone, welcome back to Sun Innovative YouTube channel and we are back with a new video on Permanent Magnet Synchronous Generator which is also known as a PMSG. So in this video we are going to simulate the simulation of the PMSG with non-linear load and uh, we will also discuss about how many types of generators are there and uh, what is the importance of wind energy so that will be going to show you in this video so we will start with the fresh with the generator here so here you can see that two types of different windings are there a type and b type so here you can see the difference here the one is a radial winding and b is a axial winding so mainly difference is generation of magnetic flux that is also going to change the direction because you can see the physical placement of windings are horizontally and vertically so that is mainly difference of the winding according to the generator so this both type of generator can be used for the wind generation or uh, electricity generation so that is also important for selection of generator for radial and the axial so both have different advantage like uh, uh, one is able to control the maximum torque and one is able to control the minimum speed at the high torque so that is depend upon the application what type of area you are going to locate on the your installation of wind farms so that is depend upon on the location so now coming back to the our main agenda that is pitch control so now that is important that how you can control the speed of wind turbine because our ultimate aim is to control the wind energy into the electricity so for uh, doing this process we need to also control or we need to get the information about the direction of wind and the density of wind so there are the two methods are there first is a yo control and second one is a pitch control so yo it means that you need to check the reference of wind density and the wind direction so according to the information about wind we need to rotate our project it means we need to rotate our uh, wall uh, mounted or uh, you can uh, say that we need to ch uh, change the direction of a generator also so that is very big task and very difficult because we need to every day we need to change because wind is unstable at all so for doing this process uh, one more method is that that is a pitch control so in this we need to have the data about the wind direction and, uh, as well as the density so at that time we are going to change the blade rotation so here you can see the th three blades are there in which uh, three servo motors are connected so we are giving the command to the servo motors after finding the whatever the per uh, perpendicular direction according to the wind speed and density so that is uh, going to show you in the simulation so without wasting time we will start with our simulation so this is the all block diagram of simulation of pmsg so here you can see the mainly we will start with the pmsg here so this is the generator and left hand side you can see the speed you can measure from here and right hand side you can see the three phase are there and these three phase are connected with the two different type of load one load is a resistive load you can see here and uh, second is a non-linear load that is rectifier and uh, that is also connected with the resistive load but it is considered as a non-linear load so here one more uh, the block arrangement is given here you can see the power calculation so whatever the energy is generated from the this generator so we we will also going to measure the power of ac side and uh, two more blocks are important here you can see the turbine model so don't worry i will also explain you what is the turbine model and uh, second is a pitch angle so the pitch it means that we need to decide that what is the actual angle of your blade so it is important because uh, when you are changing in the direction of wind so you need to also rotate your blade accordingly so to get the maximum it is the saying that we need to optimize our angle so that we can gain the maximum power from the wind energy because when we consider day to evening time wind is always going to change so according to this data we need to find out the best optimized angle for the blade so that you can generate the maximum power from the wind so that thing we need to develop here mechanically and electrically things are here so for doing this we will start with the here wind turbine model first of all so that is a block to convert the mechanical energy to the electrical energy also when we consider about the input so input it is a pitch angle it is a input and uh, based on that input pitch angle we are going to change the uh, developed torque right so i will open this block here you can see the simply here the mathematical blocks are used here you can see the multiplication products 
and uh, the main equation is here you can find here so this is the main equation and it is also given in a description so here you can see the basically three parameters are uh, placed here in a multiplication so that uh, blocks are calculated from this block you can develop this by your own because everything is open here so that is nothing important like uh, it is not more complex because it is only the three parameters you need to calculate right so now here you can see the one input is remaining that is a pitch angle so i will open this block and explain you this is the block diagram of calculating the pitch angle so here you uh, you have to find out the generator speed and the nominal speed so whatever the error is generated that will be given to the discrete pi controller and one more thing is that that is a rate limiter and uh, after this block you can find easily the pitch angle so by this way you can get the value of pitch angle and uh, third is a wind speed we need to provide the reference here so i have used the slider gain here to change the wind direction or uh, sorry uh, wind speed uh, reference so according to changing the wind speed reference we can we have to observe what will be the output changing parameters and uh, we need to also doing the analysis on that so now after coming to here this is the measurement area and uh, let me open the magnetic uh, uh, circuit here you can see this is the uh, magnetic circuit and uh, you can see there are the three phase are there and back emf it is a sinusoidal rotor type is a round mechanical input is a torque and uh, let me show you the parameter also this is the phase resistance this is the inductance and uh, flux linkage and you can find the others value here right so i have set this value according to the pmsg and the uh, all components are connected so you can stop this video you can connect your all block and you can build your own side right this is the important for analysis purpose as a uh, when we are working on a big project so you need to first of all understand what is a working of pmsg then only you can easily develop your big project like hybrid technology with the solar and uh, grid connected wind farm that will be easy for you when you understand the basic concept of pmsg so let me start with the simulation here so first of all i will open the slider gain here to change the parameters of uh, speed and uh, here i will show individually ac parameter speed and dc production after clicking on the running button so first i will show you the uh, ac parameter here so you can see here so first initially your speed reference is set on i will show you uh, what value we have set it so that is a 9.6 here so you can see the almost it is a 250 voltage generation ac side and uh, let me also show you the current value 2 ampere is also here and now i will show you if what will be the impact if i am changing the speed reference here so let me change the speed reference you can see so slightly you can observe here in a waveform that uh, voltage is also going to reduce this because i have changed the speed so for changing this purpose we can uh, easily find that our working model is working fine and uh, all the equations are working file uh, fine right so that is a checking purpose and analysis purpose that you have uh, done very good simulation like this way and uh, the other parameters are selected for perfectly so now you can see the next value is at 5.2 here and uh, further ac voltage is reduces like this way and it is now nearly about 130 voltage and current ratios is also reduces here you can see and uh, now once more again i am increasing the value see here if I am increasing value up to the 10.6 so it is almost beyond the 250 voltage and near to 300 voltage. So by this way we, uh, we can have the knowledge about if the wind speed is going to change. So our generated AC voltage is also going to change right. So now I'm, I will show you the speed graph here. So now let me show you once more again here. So that that was the different uh, uh, values we have set in the AC production that you can see here. So now the first graph is a reference speed and second it is a actual speed. So we need to see that and we need to also verify that when we are changing the speed reference so our generator should behave according to this. So now I will show you this uh, effect here. So you can see I set it on the 6 it means that you can see black line are 6 and uh, accordingly the red line it is actual speed it is also going to change immediately so this is the perfect design i think so because uh, uh, it should work immediately because there should be no delay in a wind speed 
otherwise uh, your generation is goals also going to uh, losses right now once more again i am increasing the value up to the 8.5 for verification purpose so it is you see here the black line it is a 8.5 and the generator is also immediately behave under this condition right so now i am closing this block and uh, opening the dc production uh, graph here so you can see here and i will also open once more again slider again so you can see the first graph is a dc voltage and second is a dc current so if i am going to change this value so you can see the production of dc voltage also going to change because obviously that we are going to control the ac power production so after all the rectifier will also change the values parameters right so one more again i am changing this value up to the 10.6 you can see the immediately effect you can observe from the dc voltage so by this way you can verify your pmsg model like this way and uh, you can get the power rms power from this block also so this is the basic fundamental of pmsg so uh, don't forget to watch the other videos because uh, after studying this uh, pmsg wind farm we will going to develop the hybrid technology we will give this power to the grid and i will also show you the different type of simulation regarding the wind farm and the project so first of all watch this video for the basic purpose try to develop this simulation and after developing this simulation we will go for the grid side and hybrid side because this is the fund, uh, basic fundamental so you need to clear the first of all all blocks and working of the all blocks okay so thank you guys thank you very much for watching this video thank you